Hey, what's up guys? So I think um, today I'm gonna give a, a little showcase about this plane that I have here. This is the ZO HD um, Nano Talent Evo. That's been converted to a four plus one. So one, two, three, four, and then one in the back. Four plus one VTOL. And I'm just gonna show some clips of sort of the evolution of it because I probably started this like one or two years ago. Um, and then at the end, I'll give a detailed uh, view of this. So yeah, enjoy. And I'll narrate the, the clips too, to provide some context, so yeah. So this is one of the first test hovers that I did in q Stabilize. All I had done is turn down some of the gains a little bit. Um, you can see there's still a little bit of jitter, um, but it was able to hover successfully. So I believe this clip was after doing some tuning, and you can see it, it hovers much um, better, and I uh, did some sort of yaws and pitches and rolls just to test maneuverability. And this is a demonstration of the Q loiter mode, which is basically the altitude and position hold. So it uses GPS to hold its position. And you can see how it's pretty robust against external disturbances like me pushing it or wind. Um, and yeah, it's really useful to fly in when it's kind of far away from you so it doesn't drift around. So here's one of the initial tests of the push prop in Flywire A, not actually fully transitioning, just pushing it forward. And then here's one of the first, um, this is actually an auto transition from hovering to uh, forward flight. And here's another auto one. What's the height? 30. Whoa! Yeah! Oh boy, those oscillations. So, yeah. Maybe you should turn down that fucking transition speed thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, there's some. Oh shit! It is. Oh. Isn't that transitioning fast enough? Here's one of my uh, first rapid takeoffs, so um, going up in, I think, Q-Hover, and then switching relatively quickly to the f a mode to transition. And here's a landing in Q-Hover, I believe. Um, sort of a, like, a mixed landing, um, but using the vertical motors. So here's a cool clip of a auto mission where we had a loiter waypoint in the middle um, and it was set to loiter just for I think a few seconds and you can see it kind of even goes to the proper altitude it like stops. Um, so before weird. continuing off to the next waypoint and transitioning back into forward flight. And finally some cool little LED lights I installed, just some cheap ones from Amazon. All right, and now to go into some detail. So it actually recently got into a crash, so I don't have the back prop on, but I'll go over first the mechanical stuff, electrical stuff, and then um, I guess some final notes. So in terms of mechanical stuff, um, the vertical motor mounts are not designed by me. Um, this was done by someone else who did a VTOL nano talent also. Um, so there's these 3D printed PLA mounts with these uh, five inch drone props. Um, and motors and I have the three wires extending all the way into the inside oh I guess I'm doing electrical now but it's fine into a four and one ESC um, and I also have this is something I designed myself this is sort of a um, an extra like spar almost to sort of increase the rigidity because it was sort of twist back and forth when it was yawing so I have this carbon spar that goes through these little 3d printed things here I'll, I'll have links for these in the description. And I guess another mechanical thing is these 
uh, sort of boom mount things. They're just glued under, um, also designed by the same guy that made these. And yeah, and I have these, uh, I think they're called MR, MR30s, I believe. So they're kind of like XT30s, but the three prong um, to connect the motors to the ESC in the middle. I also have this cool little, this is one of my first things I catted um, ever. This is this cool, this cool little uh, antenna mount that goes in the back for the telemetry radio. Um, I think that's about it for mechanical stuff. So I'm gonna just move into the, um, the electrical stuff. So I think these motors, you can get their, uh, their specs there. I think 2300 kV. Um, yeah, five inch props. That's what the previous person spec for. Um, they're probably a little bit overpowered and not super efficient because I can hover at like 20 or 30% throttle almost. Um, uh, I have this uh, the sick telemetry radio. It's like the air slash ground um, bundle um, that gives me decent telemetry up to like a hundred, yeah, a few hundred meters, I would say. Um, oh, there's a piece of that prop that's split in half. Um, yeah, in terms of the autopilot, so this is where it gets interesting here. Okay, so I have it flipped around. I think the most interesting part about this build is the autopilot. So when I made this, I this was like the only RJ Pilot um, like flight controller that I had. It's the Pixhawk 2.4.8, so it's kind of like that clone um, weird fake thing. I think I got it from AliExpress for like $70, and it came with a GPS and everything. So yeah, um, honestly, it's worked pretty well for me. Um, I haven't done anything that crazy on it besides, you know, the quad plane. Um, but yeah, so I have all the servos coming in here. I had to have the orientation of the board flipped, of course. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's the flight controller. Um, and I have, you know, power coming in, uh, compass from the GPS, all that good stuff. Um, and then the GPS is this uh, M8Q, the Maytech, really common GPS that everyone has. And this is the power module that it came with. Um, I have this uh, little fly sky um, micro receiver kind of thing um, because this was before I had a crossfire radio. So yeah, and then I just have the power module splitting into two, one going into the foreign one ESC and then one going to the push ESC. And the this is just the stock motor that comes with the um, comes with the the plane. Um, and it has, I think, a six-inch prop is what it used to be on a six by three, I think. Um, yeah, so that's sort of an overview of this little project I've had. I'll still, you know, continue working on this, um, maybe designing my own parts for it uh, in the future. But I just want to, this video was just to um, showcase what I've done so far, because I've had so many videos um, building up to this, like to the present day. So, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and um, uh, thanks for watching.